Oh, well, this sounds very much like a you problem, Ancano, that the Thalmor aren't really associated with the college at all. I, uh, well, I guess we can go and speak to this gentleman from the order I've never heard of. Yeah, come on then, Mr. Advisor, lead the way. You can't even do anything about our airship. You're all, it's all bark, no bite, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, that's Tony you. I mean, you were such a rush you wanted to intrude, but now you're just taking your sweet time going up these stairs, aren't you? Got, you know, I've got places to be, Encarno. And I'm stuck behind you, going one step at a time. I normally take these two at a time. I know I'm probably a lot younger than you, but there's no excuse to go this slow. That essence extractor is a horrible device. Just look at those needles. I know. Ugh. You're telling me, and we've got to use it. I kind of put that out of my mind before you reminded me. Oh, look, right. Keep, keep stum about the Elder Scroll on my back. Uh, Arcano, is it Ancano? You're making us wait an awful lot, aren't you? Is this a power trip? I have many important things on my mind. Your concerns are not among them. That... Then why did you stop to speak to me? Are, are we going or not? Now, you are going to speak to this monk and yes. find out why he is here. And then he will be removed from college grounds. You're not one for hospitality. I'd remove you from college grounds if we could. The Sijiks have come for you again. I wonder if they'll be a little uh, less cryptic this time. We're trying to play it cool. Just, you know, poker face. Don't let that Thalmor guy know what's going on. But honestly, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why he wants to speak to me. Please do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. Oh, no, I wasn't alarmed. It's good to see you again. Are you the same gentleman? It is good to meet you in person. Are you, are you a different Sidgic? I assume you've stopped time again. There's some weird ethereal quality to it when you do. What, what do you want with me? I merely wish to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately, but I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. Okay. The situation here at your college is of dire importance, and attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. That that must be a quite a journey. If it's that dangerous, aren't you able to help us do something about it? And I've not really been at the college very much. Just how far and wide-reaching is its interference across Skyrim? You can't contact me telepathically? But yeah, if, if it's so dangerous, why don't you stay and help? I'm afraid it's not that simple. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. Oh, My presence what's pushing me? I thought time was stopped. To some within Hello? The order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. No, oh, he's not with Nevertheless, us. Nevertheless, my order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. And what... I mean, I feel like I should trust your order because you warned me something terrible was going to happen when we went through Sarthal. We were about to awaken something best left buried. But what... What exactly is the problem with this orb? What... What does it do? And the language on it, do you know what the runes are? What language they are written all over it? As you may have learned, this object, the eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon. Something that cannot be avoided. Something that cannot be avoided? Oh, I don't even want to delve into the implications of premonition. I mean, I'm more than happy to help if we need to do something about it, because objects that we found deep buried beneath the earth, guarded by powerful Draugr, 
seem like they should have been left well alone to begin with, but I really don't know what you want me to do about it. Unfortunately, the future is as obscure to us as it is to you. The overwhelming power of the eye makes it difficult for us to see. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. The Augur of Dunlane? Who, who is the Augur of Dunlane? He was once a student here at the college. Now he is... something different. You don't mean a professor, do you? You mean something... changed about him. Where can I find... What, here at the college? Where can I find him? I've not come across an auger. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Oh, I, now, I, I I'm appreciate. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It Please. is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Were you about well, to say something? What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize uh, if I have offended you in any way. I like this guy. We will see about this. If he's winding up the Thalmort, that's good enough for me. Uh, and... Yeah, that's a pretty big intervention then. If his order already f believes in non-intervention, yet he's gone out of his way to... warn us. Uh, uh, sir, Arch Archmage Savasaren. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sigic Order. Here after all these years and then he just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. I, I don't think we did. I can, I think I can divulge that much. I, I need to ask you what about you something then. What you will last you a lifetime. It's no secret that the college's reputation in Skyrim is tainted. Uh, well, what did the Sigic want beyond speaking to me? Did he mention anything else? Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Okay, and a bit of a tangent, but have you ever heard of the Augur of Dunlane? Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Oh, I won't. I will go and tell Tolfdir uh, right away time. he's not to talk about the Augur of Dunlane anymore. Uh, thank, thank you for your time. I'm sorry for the inconvenience of that, the visitor for me. Oh, when you're back in a go. Right, is Tolfdir still going to be by that orb? He is oddly fascinated with it. Well, understandably fascinated with it. But perhaps it's an unhealthy fascination. Tolfdir? Where's he gone off to? It's not downstairs, is he? Maybe he's gone outside. Oh, there are actually potions, aren't there? Yes, over here. I'm just gonna take my my allotted potions. That's all. That'll do. That'll do. We won't go overboard. They're they're for sharing. Tolfdir's not out or down here. Let's go and have a look outside. There was a key we had to get as well. In one of the, the halls. Which... I'll never understand why there are skeleton hands out here. But yeah, which hall was that that we had to look? Find the key to the private collection in the Hall of Attainment. Good intentions. Find the Augur of Dunlane. Where is Tolfdir? Well, 
That's that's one of the college guards that isn't tall deer. And you're not tall deer. This is a whole of attainment, isn't it? Right, let's look for that key. Right, this is my room. Somebody left a key for me? Oh, somebody's left some ingredients for me. I don't see a key, though. Oh, no, there's a key. Private collection access. As an erudite of the college, you have the privilege of accessing the private collection. These books are precious. You may read them, but they are not to be taken from their places. All of the books that you have recovered for me can be found here. Urag Groshub. That'll include the Knight of Tears, will it? Oh, well, clearly we've earned our... Lucky oh. for you, that was just sitting there for the taking. It was left for me. This is my room. Excuse me, Inigo. Thank you. Clearly Urag trusts us enough to go in the private collection. Is that like the restricted section? Right, Tolf dear. Oh, there you are. You're back. Oh dear, I have a quick question. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. Oh. You give an old man hope. That's very complimentary. I'm actually here to ask about the Augur of Dunlane. Have you ever heard of him? Well now, there's a name I haven't heard in some time. My goodness, it's been years since I've spoken with him. I suppose he's still down in the midden, but I haven't checked. The midden? Are you going to see him? Do tell him hello for me, won't you? Uh, where, where's the midden? Underneath the college. It's not the nicest place, so if you go down there, please do be careful. Careful? Was it dangerous down there? Can you tell me more about the Augur of Dunlane? Does he just like his privacy? Well, I suppose he wouldn't mind. It was all before my time, you understand. I've heard the stories, the same as anyone else. He was a brilliant student, an accomplished wizard. Delved into magic in a way none had seen before. How old is he but exactly? I think he became too focused on just how much power he could acquire. That's what led to the accident. The accident? What accident? How much before your time? Do you remember what I first told you? About how not being able to control magic could destroy you? I didn't simply mean it could kill you. The Augur's accident is another very real type of a life destroyed. Well, it's been described as an accident. I can't imagine it was intentional. Something must have gone wrong, and he ended up in the state he's in now, fused to the energies that flow through the college. I've never felt it appropriate to ask him about it, about how that must feel. But I suppose if he can feel it all... Wait, Hank... Does he have a body? Still? Take care now. The private collection can wait. We need to get into the midden. The midden sounds like great fun. It doesn't. Let's go there. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, sarcasm. Sarc that, that's on me. I didn't realize you were being sarcastic. The midden is this door here, isn't it? With the note about bu making sure the door is barred. If you want to visit the Midden, that is your business. If you do, remember to lower the bar once you've returned, or else we'll wind up with Ice Race in the Arcanium again. And another member of the college, in other words, you, has the opportunity to learn how difficult it is to thaw and dry ancient texts to my satisfaction. Will somebody bar this door as we go through and then we can knock to be let out again? Because I don't want to run the risk of upsetting Urag. Here we go. Hello? Let's, let's just have a quick bite to eat before we go any further. I mean, it seems... deserted. Which is good. Excuse me, Inigo. Oh. 
Let's not kick a basket around. There are mage lights floating in the air. I assume somebody's maintaining them. And there's a smelter. Why is there a smell? I mean, it's lit. It's it's burning, clearly. Who's maintaining? Hello? This is very... Burned books. Are they burning books? That's sacrilege, isn't it? And what have we got here? Is it just a skeleton? It doesn't look like a mage. He's got an iron helmet. Where did he fall down from? That must have come from the college. Did somebody push him into one of those pools? Oh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to guess where that leads. Or where that leads. I feel very turned around already. And we've not even gone a couple of meters. Right, this leads down to a forge. Let's not go down that way just yet. What's this way. Where's Firebolt? Is the... There we go. Is... The Eye of Magnus... Oh, the Ice Wraith. Okay, I don't think they know we're here. Right, gentlemen. Yeah. Well, I... Okay, yeah. Oh, they are hard to see. Got him. There goes one. How are we looking? Right. Come on, then. Oh. All right. We're going in, are we? Are we? Oh, there's more. There's a lot more. Okay. Careful, Inigo. I'm out of magicka. Right, over the ice. This one. You got it? Come on. Oh. Yeah, they have. Is that... I think that's all of them. What the hell is this? Mantled college robes. The Atronach Forge. Old Midden Key. hell is this? That's the symbol of conjuration. And it's only just dawning on me now how much it looks like an oblivion gate. Which makes sense because we do conjure things from the plane of oblivion. Or one of the many Daedric planes. What's this book? Nephew, I apologize that I cannot see you personally before you leave. The trip from Sadrith, Mora, is treacherous this season, or I would have visited upon hearing the news. The Nords have a fine college at Winterhold, and I am sure you will excel. You may know that I too attended there. I was quite the conjuration adept in my own day. I'm sending you my notes on something called the Atronach Forge, a bit of a project of mine while at Winterhold. Mention nothing to the faculty, but ask your fellow pupils about a place called the Midden. You will find the forge there. I fear a number of my notes are missing, scattered, and lost in my travels around Skyrim. Perhaps you may stumble across these in your own adventures. The Atronach Forge offers few clues as to who built it, and even fewer as to how to unlock its full potential. Only through blind experimentation and a few singed eyebrows that I have been able to understand its function. The forge is mostly a large dace. Almost crude of make, but emblazoned with the traditional Daedric rune. An offering box is attached, as well as a prominent lever. The dais 
also features a large setting which seems set to receive some large spherical object. I've had no luck determining what this missing object may be, or what effect it may have on the efficacy of the forge. The forge is activated by placing certain items into the offering box, and then pulling the lever. The forge consumes the items and conjures something upon the dais. The conjuration can be predicted reliably if the appropriate items are left in the box, but many combinations either have no effect or catastrophic reactions. Once I conjured a wild goat. Well, most of the goat at least. Oh no. Experimenting wildly with the forge is dangerous. I've recorded such recipes as I have discovered on the following pages. The simplest yet perhaps most hazardous stable recipe is that for a summoned Atronach. The conjured brutes will attack the first thing they see, however. Be ready for battle if you have a reason to use these recipes. Flame Atronach, Fire Salts and a Ruby. Frost Salts and a Sapphire. And Void Salts and an Amethyst for a Storm and a Frost Atronach. Why do I get a feeling all of a sudden that these robes were left here because somebody literally vanished into thin air? Did they get reverse summoned? What's supposed to go on that pedestal? It's an oracle comingus. What's in the wardrobe? Brown robes. Strong box. The Ring of Viper Eye. Stamina increased by 45. Magic resistance increased by 10. Oh, that's an interesting ring. I'm sure Orion will want to see that in the gallery. Right, let's get that ruby. So... Right, gentlemen, be ready, because we are about to do something stupid. You know what? Let's get the ward ready. Right, offering box. So if I put in fire salts, fire salts, and then the 10 carat ruby we found, and then pull. Okay. Okay, be ready. Yep, no, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Act. Flame. Atronic. Right, I'm going to assume something is missing because we can summon, well, not us specifically, but you can summon Flame Atronax without having to go through this ordeal with this forge. So whatever's missing here must enhance the effect to make it worthwhile. Whatever this is makes it unique. Right, let's leave this be. I think we've dabbled enough in things we don't understand. I'm going to assume that is the remains of the goats that got summoned here once upon a time. Right, ice teeth and ice wraith essence. Um, some fireflies that ended up getting caught in a web. That's a lot of lit candles. And a lot of empty candle holders. I'm not going to try and understand this place. There's a man. There's two men. What the hell is that? Okay. I'm going to leave that well enough alone. Even though he's got rubies in its, its eyes. It's either some creature we want nothing to do with. Or somebody's been butchering corpses and replacing skulls. I'm hoping... It's the latter. And we still need to go to the Shrine of Periite at some point. That's always in the back of my mind. What's... Right. Whoever this auger is, they can't be down here by choice. Because this is not the nicest place to be. Who's tending the forge down here? This thing's fully kit up all lit and ready to go. It's blazing hot. But you know what? Let's go open this gate before we lose this key. Because at least then we've got a quick way out. How is this beneath the school? 
How, how are they getting away with skeletons literally in the basement? Why does this lead exactly? The mid and dark. Oh, that sounds delightful. This, ah, oh, I hope you guys are prepared. This might get worse. There is a mage light. Oh, what is that? How? How is this beneath the school? It's got a crown of finger, but a crown of hands, even. It's being pat on the head by another. Oh, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I've seen enough. Right. I'm starting to worry about what. There is no help for you here. What this organ might actually look like. I want to get back. There's a ice ray blocking me in. Ow! Oh! Oh! Get it! Okay. Okay. Deep breaths. Careful, Lucian. This stuff might hurt. So. Right, don't look down. Something tells me we're not getting up here. There is a chest there, though. And a tunnel down that way. Right. Let's hop down here. Nothing of interest, but we'll take the septums. I do hear spiders, don't I? That That isn't just me. There's a body there with a staff as well. Careful. Oh, well, that's a big spider. That's a big spider. What a way for you two to jump down. Staff of Icy Spear. Spear of Ice does 60 points of frost damage to health and stamina. I'll have that. I'll take all of this. And what's in your knapsack? I don't know who you are or where you came from. But I'm taking your valuables. Guys, you coming? Oh, you have to make jumping off things look so stylish, don't you? You can't just hop down like I do, worried about your ankles. You you roll yourself off with reckless abandon. Lucian? Come on. Go on. Go on. Psych yourself up for it. I mean, I feel like you've got to risk hurting yourself if you don't just jump down. Oh. Uh, catch up. In you go. There's a big old squishy, squashy spider in there that I want you to go and deal with. Oh, if it's big old thick cobwebs weren't blocking my spells. Oh, sorry, buddy. You got it. Uh, more. Oh. Is it just one? Weird. Lucian, already... come on, we do not want to lose you. Yeah. Definitely not down here. It's a dead rat. Have they found anything else of interest during their years down here? Right. We've not talked about the magical voice, have we? The one that said they will find no help here. Because honestly... Even looking around, it feels like we're not going to find help here. I don't need to be told that we're not going to find help here. And why does this look like a door? Am I reading into that? I think I'm reading too much into that. I don't think that's a door at all. But it could be a door. Could it? Right, let's get these webs. Is that, that all of the... These are thick webs. There we go. Let's get that one as well. You caught up with us, Lucian, yeah? Oh, dear. Ah, 
how how deep does this go? And how far have we gone? Because this is starting to look less and less like the college and more and more like an ancient Nordic ruin of some description. That's a goat. That is a fresh goat. Somebody's been preparing dinner. And that light wasn't there before. What is that? It looks like one of the displays Orion has in the gallery. How do we... I, th I thought this was going to lead in, but this seems to be leading elsewhere. Skeletons! Okay. And job done. Is that the only two that were reanimated? Because this is a lot. This is a whole pile of bones down here, and they had a Nordic fragment here as well. Is that all of... You know what? Let's not spend too much time rummaging through the bones of the departed. I think that's probably in poor taste. Right, does this lead... Yes. Hull's family ch chest. Relic ring fingers. Investigator key amid an incident report. The missing students were found in a midden this morning. Dead, as expected. None of us bothered keeping a detect's life charm for the search at this point. The bodies were found together, each suffering from the same deformities. Peeled and bubbling skin on the arms and face. Conjurers burn as it's commonly referred to around the college. There's little doubt they were attempting a summoning ritual well beyond their capabilities. This seems... What? How? Why isn't the, the Midden buried at this point? Why haven't they collapsed the tunnels? Oh, what if they think that it's going to make the foundation unstable? Which is a very valid argument at this point. It does appear the college is very precarious on its perch, but... Oh, that's for... This... This... There should be magical wards to stop people going down here. And not simply, oh well, go down at your own peril. It's, it's, it's flat out dangerous. Students are clearly losing their lives. And we're in the room with a dangerous relic, it seems. The relic nearby puts any doubt in this theory to rest. I admit that I've never seen one like it. A large segmented sculpture of a gauntlet. The Daedric Sigil emblazoned upon the palm. Attempts to move it were in vain. I must show it to the Archmage Sadoth during his upcoming visit. Perhaps he will know more. While we couldn't move the relic, I was able to pry four rings from it. I'm sure there's a connection between them and the ritual the students were attempting. I'll store these in the Arcanium until we can consult with a Conjuration Master to learn more. So there could be four rings in the Arcanium still. Investigator's Key and the Hlaas Family Key. Note to the Archmage. Dear Savos, recently I had a visit of Idris Hlal, oldest son of the Hlal family. He came to me with a request to keep safe a blade he inherited from his late father, the great Indralis Hla, who passed away not two months ago. Young Idris told me the blade is twisted and he does not want it near him or his family. He did not say so, but I strongly assume the blade was involved in his father's death. Idras would like to get rid of or destroy the blade, but is reluctant to do so, since it is a family heirloom. The blade possesses a curious magical power, and as such, Halaz came to me for studying and safekeeping the blade. I did a short study of it and have concluded this is the powerful bipolar blade of lore. The decoration on the blade illustrates the twisted nature perfectly. It seems the weapon has a mind of its own, deciding on its own to send its target either into a blood frenzy or a calm state of mind. Now, I'm no weapon expert, but it is clear this blade is dangerous in the wrong hands. Therefore, I send it to the college. You can keep it safer there than I can. Store the bipolar blade somewhere safe, where none will touch it, but don't destroy it. Let's not rule out the possibility of Fla coming to claim it at a later time. I trust you will know what to do. Your friend, E.D. 
So Savo Saren clearly knows this place is down here, because he must have stored it down here. This blade. Scroll of Adjugation will have that. I, no, I'm not touching the relic. I'm not touching that. Especially not without the rings mentioned. Right, the family chest. The bipolar blade. Calms the target for 15 seconds. Frenzy's the target for 15 seconds. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it's big. It is. It's huge. It's very big. <laughs> okay. Yep. Let's put that back. Or rather, let's put it away because that's coming with us. This, I'm starting to not trust the, the college, given that there's skulls lining the room and that seemingly they just allow students to go down here because saying, oh, well, you go down at your own risk. That's, that's not forbidding people from going down here. That's not a good duty of care. And then there was those other three students. No, four students that we went searching for. The last class, they're all dead. Stay on your guard, otherwise we're going to end up dead down here. I think so far we've simply been lucky because there's still that disembodied voice we heard. 